Hey everybody, Stratus here with another pregame stats breakdown. So starting off on the red team, we have Ezreal, Oriana, Aurelia, Blitzcrank, and Lee Sin versus the blue team who has Gragas, Singed, Caitlyn, Maokai, and Soraka. This is going to be a phenomenal match. I can't wait for you guys to watch it. Starting out on the top lane, we have Aurelia versus Singed. Aurelia mains caster while Singed mains top. This is going to give Singed a huge advantage. Uh, that and he's also played over 500 games with Singed, which is a, an insane amount. Uh, Aurelia, he also has the 53.94% win ratio, which is right about where you want to be with any champion that you have a lot of games played with. Uh, Aurelia has been played by this person six times with an 83% win ratio, uh, so not a lot of experience with the champion, not a lot of experience at top lane, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and give the top lane to the blue team in favor of the Singed. Uh, and then if we transition into middle lane, we're going to have Oriana versus the Gragas. Uh, so Oriana, uh, she mains caster as well as Gragas, so no one really has a natural advantage. Uh, but Oriana has never been played by this person in a ranked game when as to where Gragas has been played by this person about 60 times with a 56% win ratio which is you know a good amount of experience as well as a pretty good win ratio. Uh, so I'm also going to give the mid lane to the blue team here. Uh, then if we go to the jungle, we're going to have Lee Sin versus the Maokai. Uh, both of them main top lane so no one has a huge advantage there. Lee Sin's been played by this person 14 times with a 50% win ratio. Uh, not too bad since Lee Sin is a pretty high skill cap champion. You have to play him a lot to really become a Lee Sin master or a blind monk, I suppose. Uh, Maokai has only been played by this person three times with a 33% win ratio, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, I think uh, that just because both players have uh, almost virtually no experience in the middle lane, uh, or sorry, in jungle, that um, Maokai, since he's a little bit lower of a skill ceiling, that Maokai will triumphant will be triumphant over this Lee Sin. So I'm going to go ahead and give jungle to the blue team as well. Then if we take a look at the bottom lane, we're going to have Ezreal versus Caitlyn. Ezreal mains AD carry while Caitlyn mains jungle. This is going to give Ezreal a huge advantage. Uh, then if you take a look at the fact that Ezreal has been played by this person about 150 times with a 51% win ratio, when Caitlyn has only been played by this person 5 times with a 40% win ratio. Uh, so I'm definitely going to give the AD carry to the red team. Uh, I think Ezreal will be able to zone out Caitlyn pretty, pretty heftily. Uh, and then we have Blitzcrank versus Soraka. Uh, now Blitzcrank mains top while Soraka mains jungle. No huge advantage there. But then again, Blitzcrank has been played by this person about 50 times, but it's just at a 48% win ratio about. Uh, when Soraka has been played by this person about 130 times with a 52% win ratio. Uh, I think since Soraka has more experience as Soraka, um, she's definitely going to need to help that Caitlyn out. But overall, I think the presence of the red team is going to be absolutely massive early game. Uh, so I'm definitely going to give bottom lane to the red team. If you add up all the wins and losses, everybody's averages for the champions that they're playing, uh, you're going to see that the red team has a 51% chance of winning, uh, while the blue team has about a 54% chance of winning. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with the numbers on this particular game and vote for the blue team. Uh, so let me know what you guys vote for. Leave a comment uh, before you watch the game, of course. We don't want any cheaters. <laughs> but uh, let me know what you guys think, and let's get in the game and see what happens. Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Strider, and I am here with episode 1 of Strider's ELO Heaven. So today is going to be your very first slice of ELO Heaven, so let me know how it tastes, and hopefully it's good enough, and we will continue to do this. This is going to be a, a phenomenal game. Uh, no crazy interesting champions except for possibly the Singed. Uh, we don't typically see him in the high ELO, like over... 2200 ELO play, but he is still an excellent champion. Uh, going up against top uh, Aurelia, that is going to be a very, very hard challenge for Singe. I think he's going to have a little bit of issues, uh, especially in the early game. If he can survive throughout without getting pushed out of the lane too hard, I think he's going to be just fine. Uh, it's just going to be extremely difficult going up against that jungler Lee Sin. Lee Sin's an excellent ganker. But at the same time, so is Maokai. 
But then if you put Lee Sin and Aurelia over Singe to Maokai, it's most definitely going to be Aurelia and Lee Sin coming up on top of that fight. There's a little bit of CC, or more CC, coming out from uh, the blue team than there is on the red team. But overall, it's still relatively even here. Uh, we are going to have a Blitzcrank and Ezreal bottom lane. That's still an incredibly powerful bottom lane. <laughs> and I think they're going to do incredibly well. They have a couple robots on their team. Sorry, it's definitely not Blitzcrank. Uh, definitely not Blitzcrank. Uh, and the Orianna. Uh, so Oriana is going to do a really good job at speeding up the whole team either to disengage a fight or to engage a little bit easier, especially in conjunction with the overdrive from Blitzcrank. Uh, that's going to give the team fight pressure a whole new meaning. Uh, it's going to be incredibly scary for the blue team, uh, but the blue team has a little bit of disengage on their own with Gragas's barrel, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if they do get caught, they will have the wish from Soraka to really be able to help out, and it looks like red team actually might be going for an invade. There is a Caitlyn trap right in this bush right here. So we'll see if they actually end up going in. It looks like they will go in. Is anyone going to jump onto it? Soraka's going to be so low. Oh my gosh, Soraka got... Yes, okay, so they did see, and they see that all five members of the team are there. Uh, they're definitely going to disengage. Kaylin's kind of swinging around from the back. She might try to throw... No, they're okay, so there's going to be a ward in that bush. A really great ward placement coming out from Soraka. Definitely was required for that ward to be there. Uh, and now a trap going up right here on the ramp, just to help a little bit more. Uh, and this is going to provide Maokai with enough safety that he's going to be able to start wraiths really easily. Um, doing this little setup here increases his jungling speed by quite a bit. It's kind of underestimated, or underrated I guess you could say. Uh, a lot of people don't really do it since it is kind of a high risk factor, uh, but it's still incredibly good. As you can see, he was able to blow them up almost instantly without losing any health. Uh, Lee Sin was also able to clear him out pretty quickly, and now he's going directly into red buff. And th What this is going to do is this is actually going to provide him with a little bit of extra room and the mistimed ball from Oriana just not quite leashing that red buff properly so it's going to put Aurelia at a little bit of a disadvantage uh, going into that lane. Not too much though, she'll probably regen it. Oh, a great exhaust now coming out from Blitzcrank. He is going to actually grab the Kaelin. Kaelin's going to use her flash. Now the Ignite going down is the auto attack. Yes, the auto attacks will finish off. Israel doing a ton of damage. Going to be able to pick up this Kaelin possibly too. No, they are going to have to back off. Oh my gosh. That was a really intense level 1 battle. Soraka was just way too overconfident. Just stayed in there way too long. She just needed to get out of there as soon as possible. She used her flash and exhaust. It just wasn't quite enough. Oriana doing a lot of damage going down on a Gragas already in the game. He's going to have to uh, use one of those health potions, but again, Oriana is also using one herself. Uh, so it's going to be 21 AP versus 7. Gragas has a little bit of damage. Oh, we may have a root now coming out. The flash now going out from Oriana, and that's going to be quite a lot of damage. Oriana is definitely going to go down. Wonderful play coming out from Maokai and Gragas. Great job with that. Gragas flashing in and then throwing out that body slam with the peril. Absolutely wonderful. And now Aurelia is going in really hard against Singe. Singe is going to fling her into the tower. Going to put a little bit of extra damage on her. That is going to use one of her health potions. And that is going to be a little bit of advantage. Is it going to do it? Oh my gosh, this could be a second kill. This could be absolutely huge. Ignite coming down. Oh no, he's stunned in tower range. She, he is also exhausted. That is definitely going to kill him. And that was a great pickup. If he would have turned around and did a fling onto Aurelia, that would have most definitely killed her. Uh, with the help of Maokai, of course. And now Maokai is kind of all by himself. Oh, Ezreal is still doing a ton of damage going out into this bottom lane. The great thing about this combo is that Ezreal and Blitzcrank do a lot of damage pretty early on in the game. Uh, but then you look at Caitlyn and Soraka. Soraka is really, really slow early on in the game. Oh, and a great grab now coming out. That is going to be a really easy kill coming out for Ezreal. That was a really clutch grab. I can't believe it's actually that close, to be honest. A great fling now coming out. And that is going to be a lot of damage going down to Leeson. Leeson will end up going down to three members of the blue team. That is really going to help them out there. Giving those couple extra assists. Uh, but that is two kills for the Gragas now. It's really up to the Gragas to carry this game. And so far, he's doing an 
excellent job doing that. Uh, doing absolutely wonderful. Uh, being able to pick up two early kills at like four minutes. Yeah, just doing a really, really good job. Uh, he does have level two in the barrel roll. It looks like he's leveling that up first. He is definitely going to recall. That is a smart move. He has 1,400 gold in the pocket. He might be going back just to get the hunting guys. Is he going to do it? No, he's going to get the sork shoes. Definitely a good buy. Uh, getting that extra magic pen so early on in the game, plus the movement speed with the extra AP from Doran's Ring. He's going to be doing a lot of damage to this Oriana, so I'm a little bit worried about her since she is quite a bit behind. Uh, she only has 1,200... Uh, 1200 cold versus 1900. Oh, now Blitzcrank is going directly on a Kaelin. Kaelin's ignited. I don't think it's going to happen. Is the grab going to come out? No, it's not. It's still off cooldown, or still on cooldown. Uh, wonderful attempt coming out, but it just wasn't quite there. The opportunities just weren't there. So, so far, bottom lane. Ezra with two kills, only up by four CS, and now, oh my gosh. Blitzcrank is going to flash in for that kill. Kalen's not going to be able to finish that up. And another tower shot going on to Ezreal. But wow, bottom lane is just getting absolutely decimated by this Blitzcrank Ezreal combo. It's going to be very difficult for them to come back. Maokai is coming in, but there is a ward here on the red team. So there is no way that Maokai is going to be able to gank effectively. Especially with a Kalen this low at health. Ooh, grab just barely missing. That would have been a really good grab from Blitzcrank. It might have been dangerous though. Kaelin again going down really low. Ezra applying as much pressure as he can. Getting as much CS as he can. But he's also freezing the lane. Oh and a great flash twist advance coming out of the barrel roll. Now coming out. And uh oh he is level 60. Is he going to be able to pick up the kill without the ultimate? No he's he actually misses the ultimate. Bad times. And this is going to be a bad barrel roll. The ignite going down on to... The Oriana picking that up for Gragas and Maokai picking up that lease, and that is a great, great exchange. Maokai has those double buffs now, and oh my gosh, top lane. Let us see how that transpired. Oh, she's going in really hard in the paint. She is poisoned. She's a little bit lower health, and yes, that poison is just going to be way too much with those odd attacks. She's going to be able to stun him and ignite, but he is going to be able to pick her up and just barely survive. Wonderful play by the Cinch. I'm actually quite shocked that he was able to pull that off, but with 58 armor this early on in the game, he's doing just a phenomenal job. Uh, he is level 6, and, and he uh, he did not use his ult, so I definitely see him either recalling or using that to get some health and mana back. It looks like he's just going to recall, though. Definitely the safe move for sure. Uh, recalling there, not the safest option, but he does know Lee Sin recently died, so it's not going to be that dangerous after all. Let's see if we can get to back to live. Blitzcrank throwing on overdrive, just kind of doing a little bit of zoning. Uh, it does look like it's really going to work. Blitzcrank is going to recall. He definitely needed the extra health. He was getting really low. Now, Orianna's here. Uh-oh, Gragas is waiting for her, and that is going to be a huge ton of damage coming out. Is he? He actually he body slams really early for the bonus damage. Uh, going down plus the slow. I think if he just threw a barrel on that brush early uh, and then did it after she decided to slow him down and speed herself up, that would have been a little bit of a better decision. Uh, but that is okay. He is going to be able to get this blue buff without too many problems. And... <laughs> Uh, that sneaky golem actually getting out of range of that barrel. Aurelia is finally warding that river. That is going to be extremely useful for her. She's going to be able to prevent a lot of the pressure that Malkai has been putting onto her. And now the blue team is pinging off wraiths. Uh oh. So this is a really bad situation. Gragas is running right into him. That is going to be an instant pop up. That is going to be an ultimate coming out from Oriana. And a great ultimate coming out from Gragas. He is going to do that. But he's now exhausted. That's going to do a ton of damage. He's going to be able to headbutt out of there. But now there's three members of the red team. Is Maokai going to be able to get out of there? Yes, he is. And that is a lot of damage gone down to the red team. I don't know if they're going to be able to survive very easily. Caitlyn's attack speed is now slowed. And she's slowed herself. But, oh my gosh. Scar in mid on that. Greg is still going very, very low. Both Orion and Gragas are low. Oh, great barrel roll coming out. Not going to quite 
pick up the killer do enough since his ultimate is down for another 40 seconds still Valkai is now coming out from the back he is going to be able to get that twist advance and that is a great flash perfectly timed and now Maokai might be going down from this combination he is able to pick up a double kill with that arcane smash absolutely beautiful oh my gosh they did not see that coming and that is a great stun coming out from Aurelia but the insanity potion in the ghost is just too much she is now ignited and that is going to be a way too much damage she's going to end up going down the ignite is not going to kill him Oh my gosh, blue team is doing a phenomenal job right now. It's going to be really hard for them to pick it up. And now Blitzcrank going down from Gragas. Gragas is going to flash out of the way. A great ultimate and another missed explosive cast coming down. And now Caitlyn going to be able to pick up that kill, shutting down the killing spree. Wonderful play by her, but not good that Gragas died. Gragas did miss that ultimate, would have picked up the kill. He ran into the ultimate. It was a great prediction on where Gragas was going from that Ezreal. I don't even know if he was aiming for him, to be honest. Either way, it was just a beautiful play. Well executed. And now it looks like Blue Team is going to be pushing this bottom tower pretty hard. Uh, she's probably going to recall after this just to force Ezreal to lose out on as many creep kills as he she can force him to since she is behind by almost 10 cs at this point uh singe though singe is doing a phenomenal job he's actually up by about 15 uh so doing a great job at top uh jungle's actually pretty much the same except that maokai has been 3 1 and 3 showing a ton of lane presence uh, just doing a great job at ganking he has those boots mobility he also has an early oracles gonna gain that easy early map presence the only thing that makes that really scary is that he's going to have a huge bounty on his head. If the red team can kill him now that he has activated that oracles, that is going to be a lot, a lot of pressure on Maokai to stay alive. And he is one of those guys that just gets in there and tanks as much as possible. Uh, so I'm a little bit worried for him. Uh, he needs to get that extra health. Uh, so he does have the heart of gold to really help out with that, but it, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Lee Sin coming around from the back. He may be going for a lane gank. He, she needs to kill that last creep. Now he's going to be able to go in. And that's going to be a little bit of a slow on the Singe. Singe is coming and throws out the fling. And they're dueling it out. But Lee Sin is not doing anything. That is going to be a great safeguard. And a Tempest with the cripple coming out. Singe is going to pop his insanity potion. Not going to worry about anything. It's basically like eating oranges. Not quite as effective. But... <laughs> definitely makes you extremely resilient oh and I almost landed that sonic wave great attempt by Lee Sin but a lot of erratic movements from Singe is gonna be able to get him out of that really bad situation and now Maokai is coming in from the back he's able to clear out this ward and get out without any problems doing a great job really gaining that map control for his team there are currently oh yeah there's only one ward for the red team and that's at top lane uh, so it definitely is doing a really good job and a great twist advance coming out that is gonna be ultimate from Caitlyn the mana barrier is gonna pop and the barrel roll is gonna be able to pick that up the ultimate now coming out from Gragas gonna be able to pick up that double kill Gragas doing a wonderful job now gonna be able to pick up a lot of those creeps Oriana now coming around from the back she's not gonna be able to do too much she's gonna have them back off but they didn't have any creeps there to really continue that type of push uh, so now Oriana's really going to have to just keep them at bay. Uh, she actually misses uh, her command dissonance uh, on those creeps. So it's not really going to help in the farming situation. But that is okay. Singe once again stunned in tower range. And the fling with the poison doing a wonderful job at that. He has maxed out his poison trail. And really working on that fling at this point. Uh, he is just going to let... Aurelia recall? No, okay, so she knew that he was waiting for him to just get really close. She's gonna pop her ultimate, and in the meantime, Lee Sin and Oriana pick up that dragon. So they knew the blue team completely recalled. They were nowhere around, and that was a great job for them to really just be able to pick up that advantage. Uh, picking up that early dragon is, well, I guess not early, 14 minutes, but getting the first dragon in the game that's going to give them a timer and also give them a little bit of the advantage as far as when dragon's going to spawn and when to be there and be able to set up for it uh, it's also going to 
reduce the amount of gold difference and kind of evenly spread out that gold to everybody so it'll give everybody a little bit easier of a time in their current laning phase. Uh, red team still doing a phenomenal job bottom but Caitlyn has finally caught up in CS. Uh, she's still a little bit behind in gold by about a thousand. Uh, so Ezreal doing a phenomenal job uh, with that first blood as well as double kills and that's going to be a holy cow a great great ultimate from Gragas and yes that is going to be an easy pickup for them Gragas is going to run out of there as fast as possible he is taking the tower he is ignited he is going to be able to get out of there the command distance is going to speed her up but she's not going to be able to catch up Ezreal's ultimate could come out anytime but no Aurelia is able to pick up that Maokai on his retreat there's nothing he could have really done about that Blitzcrank now all by himself Ezra went down in that exchange as well so wonderful job by the blue team really being able to pick it up uh, doing a two-for-one trade in a sense kind of globally and it looks like she may be going for taking out the tower now it looks like she is going to wait uh, and just continue to farm great job by Caitlyn uh, really just Forcing Ezreal to lose out on as much CS as possible. She is up by about 10 at this point. Blitzcrank is left to fend off the tower by himself. It's actually pretty difficult to farm at the tower with Blitzcrank because the passive on his ultimate really hurts against those minions. Oh, and that tower is at 32 health. Uh, overall, wonderful job by the blue team. They're applying a lot of pressure all over the map. Uh, with Caitlyn finally in the lead of CS, she's still quite a bit of kills behind. She's behind by three kills. Ezreal almost has his Trinity Force, doing a wonderful job farming up that way. But Caitlyn, on the other hand, she's pretty close to a Bloodthirster herself. And that is going to be really bad news, especially with Soraka being able to give her that armor buff from the heal. Uh, it's going to be extremely dangerous for Ezreal and Caitlyn to fight in a 2v2 scenario. Uh, in a 1v1 area, I think Caitlyn might still die just because she's so squishy. Maokai coming around from the back, but it looks as if Gregs and Maokai look like they were trying to set up for something, but they weren't able to do anything. Uh, and now Singed is doing his normal Singed farming thing. Looks like they will end up taking that top tower. It's at dead health. It is at dead health. Uh, and Singe doing the normal Singe farming, a phenomenal job, up by about 30 CS at this point. And now Lee Sing going down almost instantly, a perfect fling into a barrel roll with that body slam for the slow. Uh, just overall phenomenal job coming out from the blue team, great team coordination. Uh, I would think that this would almost be an arranged fives if I weren't, if I didn't know it was solo queue, I would think it's arranged fives. And that insanity potion still going strong. Oh, finally, <laughs> finally ran out. They're doing a great job. Are they going to end up pushing this bottom tower? It's possible they may swing around from the back, pick up a double kill. Oh, Soraka gets grabbed by the Blitzcrank. Wonderful job. There's nobody else here to really follow up on it, though. She heals herself. It looks like she's going to be able to get out of there. She's just going to throw down the Star Calls as much as possible. She's going to silence the Blitzcrank and then exhaust him. Blitzcrank exhausts that Singe, and this can be really dangerous. Soraka is going to have to throw out the Wish. She is super low. She's at 21 health. Does end up going down from the Ezreal's Ignite, and now Blitzcrank is at 116. And yes, the headshot from Caitlyn is going to finish that off. Great job by Caitlyn to doing that net to really close the gap. That is going to be a twist advance. Coming out with the Arcane Smash on both of them, and a great path. Huh? Oh, great barrel roll with the explosive cask. And that is a double kill once again coming out for the Maokai. Maokai is doing a phenomenal job this game already. Uh, Rod of Aegis already coming out onto the Singed before even level 2 boots. Wow, this is a really dangerous game that the red team is playing. But Aurelia was able to take out a tower in the meantime. That is definitely going to help their gold losses. They're still behind by 6,000 gold at 18 minutes, though. Uh, or about 19 minutes. It's not looking too hot for the red team so far. So, Kaylin right now, she was able to pick up the Bloodthirster and the Zeal when she went back. She already had the Berserker Greaves. So, right now, she's really just going to be concentrating on getting the stacks on her Bloodthirster. That is number one importance for her right now. So, she's probably going to head over to Golems. Uh, since her creeps are already pushed way up here, she definitely doesn't want to risk dying 
for no reason or for just trying to stack up Bloodthirsters since you lose them all anyway. And yeah, she will end up getting a couple stacks from that with a little bit of extra health. Now Singe going in hard on the paint against the Aurelia once again. Aurelia throwing down the stun, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It looks like she's trying to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. She's at about half health, and now, oh my gosh, Aurelia with a great flash coming out. The ultimate now doing wonders for her, and oh my gosh, a great ultimate coming out from Orianna. Really doing a lot of work herself, and the dragon kick with the shield from... Oh my gosh, with the shield from Oriana doing a wonderful job in bottom lane. There was a ton of action. Maokai coming up top, being able to pick up that kill. And oh, that shield is just going to barely save them with the safeguard. She's so, so low at 76 health and 132. Wow, there's just so much action all over that map. That was almost an ace for the red team. Soraka really showing what she can do at this point in time in the game. Uh, that wish not quite off cooldown or that would have swung drastically in favor of the blue team. I think Cinch would have been a little bit more confident in diving harder. Uh, he does have that Glacial Shroud and that is going to help ridiculous amounts. And now the blue team is pinging off for this dragon. I believe this is going to be the second dragon of the game. If they pick this up, that's going to be a huge, huge lead. They're going to have timer on the dragon. They're going to have more of dragon control. Uh, Maokai has that Oracle. I think he lost his first one, to be honest. I uh, don't recall. I, did, I do think he, meant he did die when he had his first one, but he bought another one. Uh, and he's still being able to clear out all those wards, doing an absolute phenomenal job at that. So Greg is finishing up his Death Cap, picking up an Elixir of Brilliance. He's going to be extremely... Extremely powerful in this next fight. Caitlyn's behind the Lee Sin, and now the Arcane Smash with the Twisted Advance combination coming out. It looks like, yes, that is going to be a free kill for Maokai. Maokai now has seven kills, doing a beautiful job. Uh, Gragas has nine, and this is a really bad situation for the red team to be in. Grab coming out from Blitzcrank, but not being able to land on anybody. Oh my gosh, a lot of damage coming out from Oriana, doing a lot of work uh, onto this Caitlyn. And Caitlyn taking a little bit of unnecessary damage from that tower. Barrel roll, chunking down Blitzcrank. Tries to get a grab down, but does not end up getting it. Aurelia runs into that trap. She knows she doesn't get snared for nearly as long, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, Maokai is now coming in, and they're going really hard onto this tower. I don't know if they're going to be able to actually pick it up or not. I'd be very interested to see what happens. Uh, Singe now coming around from the back, able to fling the Aurelia, but she's going to be able to get out of there with no problems whatsoever. Lee Sin having a really tough time this game. It's very disheartening for him to be 1-7. It's definitely not what we want to see. A great ultimate from Ezreal. Oh my gosh, Soraka getting caught out of position by the ultimate from Orianna. A wonderful shockwave coming out. She's going to eat that ultimate. Or sorry, that snare. She really wanted the cupcake for that kill. Or for the help on that kill. Overall, wonderful job. Really trying to turn around the tables. Uh, trying to take advantage of the blue team's cockiness or their overconfidence. Uh, and again, Greg is stealing that blue buff. That is going to be very pertinent for Oriana. She really needs to get a little bit more mana regen. It looks like a great fling coming out from Singe. Greg looked like it actually landed on Singe, but didn't do anything. Another explosive cast coming out with the body set, being able to finish it up. And the. Oh my gosh, Greg is getting the double kill. And that is 11 kills. With 175 creep score on the Gragas. He's being an absolute beast this game. And now, all oh, the twist advance. The wrong person to grab. The Arcade Smash now coming out of fling out of tower range. And then it's going to be another kill for Gragas. And a tower kill for the blue team. An absolute slaughter at this point in the game. They're doing a wonderful job. I don't know if they're going to be able to come back. Since uh, they might actually be able to take an inhibitor if they keep pushing this hard. A great fling coming out with a twisted advance. Not quite able to get anything else off. It looks like Aurelia is exhausted for a while. She's going to take a lot of damage. Is she going to go down? Yes, Kaelin's able to finish that up. And now Singe is able to pick up the kill. Kaelin's so, so low. I don't know if that was a surrender vote or not. It doesn't look like it yet. 
Uh, but Caitlyn, man, she was really aggressive. She had like a hundred health. Red team's inhibitor has been destroyed. And that is the first inhibitor of the game going in favor of the blue team. And they're just being absolutely relentless. The shockwave missing everybody. Not a good cooldown to use on nobody. Uh, that is very dangerous. Lee Sin coming in, but being able to safeguard out pretty easily. But now gets chunked down to half health. Uh, with the help of that. Oh, and that is a Shirelli's Reverie coming out. They're going to instantly blow up that Orianna. That is not good times for her. And now Caitlyn and the rest of the blue team is really... Oh, oh man. Ezreal took a lot of damage there. They're really going down onto these Nexus Towers. That is going to be a great flash coming out after the Twisted Advance. So he doesn't tank that Nexus Tower. An Insanity Potion now coming out from Singed. He's just going to stand there and take all the damage that he can. And that is going to be absolutely ridiculous. He is not doing as much damage as he really wants to be doing at this point in the game. Uh, Ezreal just not quite there. He does have six kills. He has that Trinity Force. But Singed is also really fed himself. He does have that Frozen Heart already. As well as the Ninja Tabby. Giving him over 200 armor. Which is absolutely massive. Oh and another huge explosive cast coming out. They're able to catch him out. But that is the Surrender Vote coming out from the red team. Wow, that was a ridiculous game. Uh, very, It seemed very one-sided except for bottom lane. Ezra and Blitzkank were doing so good. Uh, it's disheartening when you see a team doing so, so excellent in bottom lane. But then the rest of the team just can't quite pull it together. I was almost convinced that uh, Aureli was going to absolutely smash the, the Singe. I've never really seen her get shoved out of lane that early on because I know she does quite a bit of damage at level 1 so it was very shocking to me but uh, things happen. Uh, but yeah make sure again guys if you like my videos make sure to hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see any previous videos you can click that if you want to see any future videos from this one you can click that button as well they're all on the front of your screen for your convenience. Uh, but yeah, let me know how you guys like the new format of the show. Not rest necessarily a new format, but just a new look of the show, new feel. Now that we have the official title, this is episode one of Strider's ELO Heaven. And make sure that you leave a comment or send me a message of any champions or players that you want to see. I will get them recorded for you, and uh, I will throw out some commentary. And thanks again, guys, for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.